Mama Aida Odinga was humiliated, embarrassed, and heckled badly in Meru. I want us to look at the whole situation. What caused it? Because Mama Aida Odinga, number one, is not a presidential candidate. And therefore, I don't understand why anybody would target Mama Aida. Number two, Mama Aida never organized that event in Meru. She was invited, and not just invited. Mama Aida Odinga was supposed to be the chief guest during that event. Number three, it is clear that the UDA party leaders from the Meru region took charge of that event. Is there a chance that they participated in the heckling, embarrassment, and the shaming of Mama Aida Odinga? And lastly, that event was a church event. It was not a political event. And therefore, I don't understand up to now why Mama Aida Odinga was humiliated that much. I want you to listen. Sorry, I want you to watch Mama Aida Odinga being heckled in Meru before we proceed. Aida Odinga. I want to listen to your honest opinion about that heckling. <laughs> what is your thoughts on that particular incident? And what do you think were some of the objectives which the organizers wanted to achieve by heckling of Mama Aida? Because I've always maintained on this platform that in politics, nobody can just wake up in the morning like there's no way as youth can wake up in the morning to go and heckle another leader not a single day that has never happened normally what happens is that most of these events are organized like the Rigadi Gashagwa was heckled in Meru so there must have been someone somewhere who was responsible for the heckling of Rigadi Gashagwa in Nyeri the same way the heckling of Mama Aida Odinga in Meru was actually planned because Mama, Oding, Mama Aida Odinga, by the time she, these guys were heckling her, she had not even started talking. So it means someone somewhere said or organized these women that when Aida Odinga will arrive there, don't allow her to speak. And why would someone do that? In my view, I have five hypotheses. hypotheses. In my view, I have five theories. The first theory is that there is someone who was keen 
on slowing down Mama Ida's political activities. Prior to this Meru event, Mama Ida Odinga had actually started going outside there and leading campaigns for Raila Amolo Odinga. I remember there was a time she was in Siaya, she was in uh, Vihiga. Mama Ida Odinga also held a very successful event in, uh, in uh, I think in, uh, was it in Kajiado? And even in Nairobi. So she had started taking charge of particular aspects of the campaign, especially targeting the women. And I remember when uh, Mama Ngina Kenyatta was abused and insulted, Ida Odinga came very strongly in one of her events in her defense. I want you to listen, and that's why you will understand what I'm trying to say. I want you to listen to Mama Ida Odinga defending Mama Ngina Kenyatta in one of her events. Uwezi kwenda kutukania mama. You cannot abuse a woman using dirty language on any woman. He who was not born of a woman. Yule baya kuzaliwa na mama. Ali yaka mbele ni muone ni nani. Yule ambaye hakuzaliwa na mama. Tafadhali kuja hapa mbele kuambie kule ulitoka. Nirudie. Yule ambaye hakuzaliwa na mama. Kuja hapa mbele ni kuone. Nijue imetoka wapi. Mheshimu wa mama. Na mama kama mama ngina. Mama ngina wakati kinyata alikuwa jela. Hata mama ngina alikuwa hapa kamiti. Kwa hivyo si jina ambayo unaweza kucheza naye. Kwetu kama mtu muhimu tunamuita hiyo jina. Ukienda kwetu utakuta watoto wengi, watu wengi wanaitwa wa mama ngina. Na ngina ni jina la kikuyu. Kwa sababu they respect her and they love her. Nilikuja kwa salimia kina mama ni kuwaeleza kwamba mbele iko sawa. Mbele iko sawa. No basi mama Ido Dinga and I can tell you someone is basically out to slow down Mama Ida's political activities. And being a woman, after this particular incident, I don't think you will see Mama Ida getting out much to lead campaigns. She's going to start fearing. So that's the first objective, to slow down her political activities. Number two, which I think was achieved, was that someone was out to project UDA as a political party, as the dominant party in the larger Meru region. In the recent past, Meru region has been turning out to be a 50-50 politics. I mean, a 50-50 if votes were to be held today. Actually, it was turning out to be a battleground. And Peter Munya has been going outside there. Kiraitu Murungi has been going outside there. The other day, you saw Kiraitu Murungi in the church and uh, the way the wife was humiliated. You can link it to this. So someone is out to project Meru as a UDA stronghold. You know, if Mama Aida had been allowed to speak and with that kind of crowd, probably some of them would have listened to her, would have left there with a different idea. But these guys never wanted that. Their objective was just to humiliate Aida. Then photos or videos are taken. And then a narrative is going to be created that Meru region is actually a UDA stronghold. Because, you know, this, these are just women who are heckling. It's very rare for women to heckle. And that's why I'm saying someone must have organized these women to heckle Mama Aida. And number three, in my view, this could have just been an incitement. Someone somewhere sat and figured out, let's incite our people against Mama Aida see how the lip states were going to react or the reaction. And I'm also trying to figure out whether there could have been the possibility that someone somewhere wanted to pass a message to Raila Odinga that this is what you should expect if you come to Meru next. I don't know, but I'm just trying 
to think aloud that someone somewhere maybe is planning that and lastly the person who needs to take responsibility is Kiraitu Murungi. Sorry, not Kiraitu Murungi, it's mythical in Turi. Because I'm looking at uh, this heckling as an extension of mythical in Turi versus Kiraitu Murungi's political war. Mythical in Turi was heckled badly when he tried to address some rallies down in Meru. And in response, I think mythical in Turi decided that this particular event was going to be a UDA political rally. And that's why in uh, my own ob observation, I didn't see majority of uh, the Azimio brigades in this event. The governor was not there. Even majority of people who support Azimio were not this, in this event. Maybe they had prior information that this kind of heckling had been planned and they thought that Ida was not going to be affected, being that she's a woman. Apart from that, Mama Ida Odinga, maybe being a for the wife of the former prime minister, maybe just a woman as the chief guest. So the truth of the matter is that Kiraitu Murungi versus Mithika Linturi's political war could have caused this. Mithika wanted to prove a point that he was heckled and therefore he came up with this group. And someone was telling me, not telling me, I was reading a post by Wahome Puku where he's been consistently saying that majority of the people who attend William Ruto church services and their allies are actually the same people who attend rallies. If you watch that video very closely, you will get shocked that were these women, uh, these women, were they out to go for a church service or they were out to achieve specific objective? I don't know what to think, but for me, if you ask me, that event is unfortunate and uh, Mama Ida Odinga will have had a time trying to recover from it. Thank you guys and please, May you have a good day. I'm still in Mombasa. <laughs> in Aitwanga, Mutale ni correct. Ni viazi karai ama mandazi karai. Ni viazi karai. Okay. Thank you guys and may you have a good day. Bye bye.